morning you guys it's Megan it is Saturday morning and I just filmed an Instagram reel those things are so difficult I swear to you I just can't do it easily some people make it look so easy and it's really really hard so I'm trying my best but I just did one on my morning skincare routine because I felt inspired but now I'm all ready to go. The last step is always my Fenty Hydrovisor sunscreen so I can like go out and do something without putting on makeup. And so I'm gonna run and get some breakfast. It's like 9.30 so I feel like I'm already on like a good schedule for today. I didn't sleep in too late. So let's go and get some Starbucks. Always spritz some perfume on your scarf if you're wearing a scarf and when we get back I'll do a perfume haul because the perfumes I was waiting on finally came in here's a little spoiler but I just placed my Starbucks order so let's roll I'm pretty sure I haven't left my house in man three days or something I have not gone anywhere lately it has been so 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 cold and I just don't have a reason to leave the house anyway. So I'm letting my car warm up. It says it's 26 degrees and tomorrow we're supposed to get, tomorrow and Monday, we're supposed to get a pretty big snowstorm. So I'm curious to see how big is big. <laughs> when my car connected to my like phone for my music, it started playing Jack's Mannequin Dark Blue and I did like a little like fun Q&A on my Instagram this week. I asked you guys a bunch of fun things like um, your dream vacation, your favorite feel good TV show or movie, um, and your like a song that you know every word to and one of you guys said the Jack's Mannequin Everything in Transit album. And I was like, oh my God, I used to love that so much and I just forget about it sometimes. And every few years I come back to it and it is just phenomenal. One of the best albums ever. And my particular favorites are Dark Blue and Bruised. I know, so basic. Um, but I just love it and it reminds me of my MySpace days. <laughs> And it was just oh, such a good time for music, I feel like. I loved finding music on um, MySpace and I discovered so many different like bands and artists and oh, those were just the best music days. Like not the best days of my li life because <laughs> I had a really rough like middle school, high school but like emotionally I had it really rough and I feel like the music I listened to definitely <laughs> reflected that but Jack's Mannequin man that shit is awesome so if you haven't listened to them in a while definitely play it again I know you will remember every word and it just makes you feel a certain way I just got our Starbucks and I just remembered another amazing song from when I was younger and Be My Escape by Reliant K is like my favorite song ever. I, again, I forget about it, but then I rediscover it every like five years or something like that. And I remember every single word. This was my all time favorite song for so long. And Reliant K was my very first concert. And now you know, I'm obsessed with concerts. I love, love, love concerts. And it was so cool. Like, I was kind of a late bloomer with concerts. So I saw them when I was in high school with my mom. And it was Reliant K and Switchfoot. And I really only cared about Reliant K, but it was cool to see Switchfoot too. And it was like around like right before the holidays or something. So Reliant K did half of their amazing album, Five Score and Seven Years Ago. And then they did half Christmas music, which the Reliant K Christmas album is one of the best Christmas albums of all time. And it was just such an amazing concert. I will never ever forget it. And yeah, Be My Escape is everything. So I am jamming hardcore this morning. So I got my oatmeal that I really love. I haven't had this since the last time I showed you. I guess that was last weekend. 
So it comes with the raisins and like cranberries and stuff like that, the nuts, and then the brown sugar packets. And I realized that one and a half packets is the perfect amount. It's already like made and everything, but then you just add the toppings. And then for my drink today, I use my stars and I got the vanilla cream cold brew um, with the sweet cream cold foam, which you can now add on the app. Like it lets you pick some of the cold foam options, which is awesome, but it is a dollar extra, so definitely use your stars. And I got the cascara topping, which I think is very similar to the uh, pumpkin spice cold brew topping. So I can't wait to drink this. You guys, this tastes just like the pumpkin cream cold brew. So this is where it's at. I think that the cascara topping makes it, so. Highly recommend and I can't wait to dig into my oatmeal. I just finished getting ready and I am here to show you my new perfume haul and these are from KKW Fragrance and I really wanted to order some more because I love the ones that I have. I have the Kimoji Peach, Kimoji Cherry, and the Violet Crystal Musk. Oh my god, I love them all. So when they came out with their Valentine's Day collection, they have new ones, which are the Metallic Hearts, and then they re-promoted ones from last year. And the one that I really, really wanted was the BFF Heart. And I just have to say, KKW Fragrance has style. Like every time I order from them. I'm so amazed and I always think of that line in Harry Potter where um, the one character says, you gotta admit Dumbledore's got style. <laughs> and that is how I feel about them. And you'll see the other ones I packaged up, but this one um, comes in the light pink box and it even has like a two from on it so you could give this to your BFF and they also have wifey and bae. The notes of those didn't really speak to me but the notes of BFF really did and this one it's so cool it like sits up like this so um it kind of like I don't know it's just like a little display piece. So this one when it actually has an oh my god has an explanation on here. I can't stop smelling it. It says an absolutely delicious fragrance offering playful notes of wild berries and crisp star apple. A bouquet of pink rose petals and pear blossom highlight the heart with while fluffy notes of vanilla marshmallow and cedar wood contour the finish. <sighs> this is a very sweet, happy, like vanilla, Oh, it makes me think actually of like strawberries and cream. Oh my god, it smells so good. Mm. And this one is an eau de toilette. So this one doesn't last super well on the skin. The other ones are eau de parfum. But oh my god, it just smells amazing. If you like sweet, fruity, vanilla scents, check this out for sure. And I do want to um, smell the um, metallic hearts because they have them at Ulta. So I want to do that hopefully soon. The next one that I got is one of the diamonds. And so this was a collaboration with Courtney, Kim, and Chloe. And so I got the Chloe one. And so it like slides out like this. And this is what I mean by like they have style. It's like a plush like lining and it's like that whole experience is so cool and then this is the perfume and it's this amazing like literally looks like a gemstone and it is coming up like it looks black but it's really blue maybe you can see it a little better now it's definitely blue and this one is more of a rich mm, like this makes me think of like winter and this is really like heavy. It's so nice. And this is an Aude Parfum. And oh my gosh, this packaging is just amazing. Let me see if it says the notes on here anywhere. Okay, it doesn't say the notes, but um, this one is like musky floral. 
oh my gosh it's so so nice like this is to me like a date night scent or just like a going out scent but also like in the winter when I want a heavier scent I would definitely wear this during the day oh my god that one smells amazing and I love that packaging and then the last one I think this one is my favorite I love this so this is another one of the crystal um perfumes and this one is the crystal pear and peony and so this has like a all like matte packaging but then the kkw fragrance is like shiny and then this one opens like this and it has the crystal perfume inside and this little like envelope has like crystals in it so if you like have crystals around like for your decor for like good vibes or whatever you can use that but this is the stunning bottle and oh my god this is the one i've been wearing the most and this one is an Aude parfum so this one lasts longer but it's definitely a sweeter scent which typically doesn't last as well on me oh my god this one to me it smells like candied pears and a little bit of floral to me it's really unique like different than other fruity florals there is a deepness to it and it's like bright off the bat a little bit citrusy and then as it dries down it gets like creamier and just delicious i love this so much and i know some of the um crystals have like a larger size so i really hope that this one is like popular enough that they bring out a like larger size of it because this is 30 milliliters one fluid ounce i think all of these are and they're all under $40 which is so affordable for fragrance and especially like they're just so unique and I think the scent is unique but then the packaging is too and it's just amazing like I've never been disappointed by anything I got from KKW fragrance oh my gosh so if you guys have favorites from them please let me know I wish more of them were available at Ulta because I want to smell them in person, but I've blind bought all of them except for the peach. That was the first one I ever got and I smelled that in store, but ever since then I've always blind bought them and I've never been disappointed. So the Crystal Pear Peony is my current favorite and I also love the BFF heart and then I know I'll get more use out of the like sapphire Chloe crystal or Chloe diamond I don't know what this is called but um more at like nighttime occasions which I don't do anything at nighttime these days <laughs> during COVID but yeah so that is my new perfume like little haul and definitely sign up for their text messages because i got ten dollars off so you can do that and unsubscribe <laughs> and then you get ten dollars off i had the best day visiting with Alyssa, and we watched the greatest showman which i haven't seen since it was in theaters and it was fantastic and she really recommended the reimagined album so i downloaded it on apple music and i cannot wait to jam out to this all the way home and especially kelly clarkson's version of never enough holy shit it is just so 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 amazing and if you haven't seen this movie or if you haven't watched it in a long time definitely watch it it's on disney plus so i got home and my family got me just hold it here <laughs> my family got me the lady gaga chromatica oreos i could not believe it so i am gonna open it and not save them for the rest of time but i want to see what they look like oh my gosh oh that's so cool it actually says chromatica on it and then it says oreo are they all the same oh they're all different that's so cool so oh they are double stuffed good i was worried about that but basically it's like i would say this is more of a peach color and then the like bright green <laughs> icing that is so awesome thanks you guys no taste test. okay oh i have my invisalign in wait oh my gosh okay <laughs> oh they're kind of hard <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like the orange is harder weird mm -hmm. that is weird they almost taste like blonde oreos it says golden on the cover 
I don't know about that Lady Gaga. <laughs> Still, if you're a Gaga fan, you gotta get them. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sunday and it's pretty late in the day. It's almost four o'clock in the afternoon and I have been filming and just doing a lot of different things for my YouTube channel, my Instagram, and I just finished up prepping for my book club meeting, which is tonight about the guest list. I take so many notes and write like questions and things like that to have like a discussion with you guys and it's just so fun to me to do these each month and I am so excited for my February book pick and I'll um, tell you guys here since it will be already announced by the time you guys see this. And so my February book club pick for my Let's Get Literary book club that I run through my Instagram is called The Kindest Lie by Nancy Johnson. And a like short synopsis is this sweeping story traces a woman's return to her struggling hometown and the hope she finds in confronting her past. And it has to do with like race and um, like that discrepancy in America between black and white and um, just like a lot of interesting current issues so I thought this would be a really great book to talk about for our book club and it was on my list that I wanted to read so it worked out perfectly so that is our book for February if you want to read it and then we'll have a live chat on the last day of February at least I usually do it the very last day of the month and let's see yeah it's on a Sunday the last day so that's typically like the day I do my book clubs anyhow so that works out really well and it's actually been snowing all day so um it's accumulating a little bit but it really really will build up because it's supposed to snow all night like the rest of today all night and then all of tomorrow and into Tuesday so we are probably gonna get at least a foot of snow um which we haven't had that big of a snowstorm yet this year. We had like, I think nine inches about a month ago, but this will be the biggest one um, so far. So that will be interesting to have to deal with all of that um, tomorrow and Tuesday, but since I don't have to leave my house for any reason, I'm not as affected as I would be like during non-COVID times. But yeah, it's very pretty, but I know we'll have to do a lot of shoveling <laughs> in the next like 48 hours. So I am probably gonna have a snack because I didn't really have lunch yet today. I'm gonna do that. I will probably do some editing, <laughs> which is just kind of my typical Sunday thing. And I think I'm just gonna wrap up this vlog here since I won't be able to do much for the rest of the day. Um, I don't have anything super interesting going on, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe since I post a weekly vlog every single Saturday. And I appreciate you guys watching so, so much. And I hope you're doing really well and I'll see you soon. Bye.